Hello, welcome to the Mark Denard Show, the cybersecurity show. So Anduin OS is a custom Linux distribution based on Ubuntu designed primarily to facilitate developers transitioning smoothly from Windows to Linux by maintaining familiar workflows and a Windows-like user interface, which is especially inspired by Windows 11. So it is an open source project created by a Microsoft software engineer developed as a nonprofit side project. So it's primarily used as a daily operating system development environment uh, and, and server or learning tool providing users especially those coming from windows which with, with a comfortable and familiar linux experience without a steep learning curve so it, it is it's basically suitable for developers windows users seeking to switch linux beginners and even older hardware due to its lightweight and efficient performance now the benefits you know for developers is basically a windows 11 like interface that reduces the friction of switching os's by mimicking the look and feel of windows while ever you know or leveraging uh, ubuntu stability and ecosystem there's the compatibility with most ubuntu apt packages plus the use of the flat pack for graphical applications offering secure and fine grain app control in contrast to ubuntu snap system there's the fast and smooth performance with genome 48 desktop environment optimize uh, memory management virtualization and cpu scaling options for advanced users there's the minimal pre-installed software allowing users to tailor their development environment easily with a wide range of available applications from both ubuntu and flat hub software repositories there's the privacy focused design that does not track profile or target users ensuring a more secure and anonymous system experience so the easy installation and setup with a small two gigabyte iso image along with options for long-term support and standard versions catering to stability needs or newer features downloading and preparing to install Install, right when you when it comes to the download of the anduin os iso and virtual box if you if basically if you're using a virtual box you have to burn the iso to a usb drive for booting on physical machines ensure secure boot in bios is enabled for security during installation if you know booting from usb involves entering the boot menu key that's the f12 you know escape etc and selecting the usb drive you may need to adjust the nvme lba format for you know performance on some systems the you know there's the installation process language and keyboard layout selection choose whether to install updates and third-party software during the setup select the target disk options in that include the disk encryption with lvm and the luks2 right you have to set the location for time zone and and, and locale create user account with the name the username and password set a secure boot you know password during installation to enroll the and you know and do an os keys on first boot installation progresses with on-screen feedback then prompts for restart so first boot and set up you know then configure secure boot using the password set during installation adjust display settings and other user preferences right you have the you now there is a user and you know interface and experience uh, aspect when it comes to that uh you know the desktop environment closely mimics the windows 11 with a familiar start menu taskbar file explorer and system tray this eases the transition for windows users right so it includes default apps such as firefox browser system monitor network manager settings panel with options for themes whether it's light dark background sound and bluetooth the system features uh you know it, it's based on ubuntu right the management of it right it supports flat pack for app installation it includes a built-in system monitor showing cpu memory disk and network usage it emphasizes privacy lacking telemetry tracking it supports advanced Linux features like containers, KVM virtual machines, and Wine for running Windows apps. It uses System MD for managing processes and services. Now, now when it comes to navigation, right of uh, you know this OS, there's the Start menu and the App. You know, so the main App menu, that's the Start menu, is centered on the Windows taskbar, which is similar to Windows 11. It contains pin apps by default, but users can click all apps to browse all installed applications installed and newly added apps appear you know 
basically on there, right? And users can pin or unpin apps to the pinned section for quick access. In regards to the task bar and system tray, right? The task bar includes quick access to essential controls, whether it's the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the volume, the power options that are found on the bottom right. On the bottom left, there is a small weather app widget, right? The settings interface, right? The settings are accessible via the start menu or system tray icons. The settings panel allows users to adjust network, Bluetooth, sound appearance, themes and background. Now users can switch between the light and the dark themes easily with that. So it includes notifications, privacy, whether it's turning off a location, camera, mic, when not in use, sharing a, a accessibility, display, mouse slash touchpad settings, printers, media, region and language and default applications. There's the file explorer, you know, Anduin OS provides a Windows file explorer like experience for file management which is accessible through the app menu or task bar it supports you know nav you know navigating the files the folders with familiar icons and layout the system monitor is built in uh you know it is the built-in um monitor app that shows the cpu the usage the memory the network activity the disk usage and running processes in an interface similar to the windows task manager so Anduin OS includes a software center where users can view installed software, browse available packages and install or update applications. It favors the flat pack for sandboxed GUI applications, but also supports Ubuntu repositories. Updates for system software and applications are handled through this interface separate from Windows updates to avoid confusion, right? You can also multitask and, you know, when, within the desktop environment. So the desktop environment is based on genome, right? Uh, you know, basically customized to look like and behave like Windows 11, right? So users can search apps, manage multiple windows, customize wallpapers, and manage multiple virtual desktops. So the user interface is friendly to users familiar with Windows workflows, okay? Privacy settings are easy to manage, basically allowing users to toggle location services, camera, and microphone usage. The system encourages best practices by suggesting these features be turned off when not in use for security you can move the taskbar to any screen edge whether it's top bottom left right and choose to center or left align the start menu so this is done through commands that load specific style settings via curl and deconf as an example uh you know to move the taskbar to the bottom and center uh the start menu you would run peter please put that code on the screen Similar commands are available in other positions and alignments like bottom left, you know, left center, left top, top center, left, uh, you know, top left, right center, and right top. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.